Hello, everybody. So um, <clears throat> I'd like to introduce Label for Intrinsic Imaging. This is a technology which has been established for some years in uh, mainly the United States market. Um, and what we want to do with our friends in Hariba is to raise the profile of this technology in Europe because we know that there is a large and successful market there and we believe that we can help with data quality and cost savings. So the uh, system that we're talking about today is this HPC E512 system. This is a capillary electrophoresis system, um, but it has some significant differences to um, typical technologies. Label-free intrinsic imaging does rather say what it does. We use no labels in our technology, no dyes or stains or fluorescence, and this means that it does not restrict the user to different technologies to perform different types of analyses. It's label independent, using the intrinsic absorption of molecules to analyze them. Protein, for example, is analyzed by the absorption of the peptide bond between each amino acid at 214 nanometers. What this means is, as is shown in the slide, is the technology can be used across a very wide range of uh, sectors, including biotechnology, academia, industry, and government, particularly uh, with the U.S. government at this time, um, and that is in biopharmaceutical production, vaccines. We are working on two diagnostic streams, um, but also on slightly more uh, esoteric things, such as analytical chemistry and uh, general biotechnology. What is capillary electrophoresis? Well, it is a technique that has been established for some years using the thermally efficient capillary to separate molecules down over, say, uh, 10 to 70 centimeters. The problem with standard capillary electrophoresis is that you only have a single point detector. This means you just get one measurement event of an, of an analyte as it crosses the detector window, which is typically a two millimeter window in the capillary. This means you only get one measurement event, and this is at a single point in time. So it gives you problems, particularly with repeatability, but also resolution. It also means that all you're doing is monitoring the movement of the analyte across that small window, and you've got no way to monitor the condition of the sieving matrices in your capillary, and so changes that affect the repeatability or the repetition of experiments cannot be seen. Also, the majority of good data from single point detection relies on expensive fluorescent labels, and fluorescent labels are very, very expensive, and the sample preparation time that you need to perform your analysis can be three to four hours, whereas sample preparation on a, single, on a multiple point detector uh, is done in about 10 minutes. <clears throat> 